This was a really amazing song in terms of like the experience of collaborating on it. It was a song that I was stuck on and like I really wanted it to be really great and I didn't know how to do it by myself and I'm usually a terrible collaborator. I'm not a great co-writer. At one point, Vienna, you went out into the live room and sat down at the piano and just started playing and the word that comes to mind is ambition. I was going back to stuff I used to be able to play as a piano player. So then I was basically just trying to rip that stuff off. <laughs> I think from touring with you, Alex, realizing that my sense of tempo is terrible. And so I was trying to give myself interesting like rhythm exercises to like practice. And did you have any idea of what you wanted the song to be about at that point? No, I actually remember we went down the road of writing completely different lyrics for a while when we were <laughs> trying to think of what it could be. The idea of uh, hearing that that sort of separating uh, left and right hand part and then the coming back together. And, and so that did sort of uh, lead us down the road of, of what it could be about. I was like, okay, well, there's so much cool stuff happening in the piano part already. It's so mesmerizing. There's all these melodies and counter melodies and, and everything. So what else what else do we need to do you just get like a, a, a whisper of an idea that might only appear for a second and you try to write it down have low frequency information but i didn't want it to repeat what she's already doing or step on or make this uh, what i call like sandwichy production which is when you're just like things just get stacked and stacked and stacked like in that song in the chorus the toms come in and they are tuned to the the tonic of the song and so they're actually reinforcing the low end of that key so i remember the overall overwhelming feeling of from an engineer standpoint of okay just don't screw this up there's a lot of decisions that a lot of times do get passed down the line to the next person in the line like for instance as a producer I've often gotten in a situation where we're stuck because something is not working in the song and it's a writing issue and it's not a produce production issue all right so we have here's one rhythm And this is one that we used uh, a bunch in the verse. So this sort of starts here in, in the verse. So I'll play you the. So we started put, putting in this theme, this sort of pushed. Bun, bun, uh, uh. So you have this backbeat thing going on, but it's a very slow halftime thing. And then everything else kind of plays in in between it I know. so that that da, da, um, motif is the thing that we we tried to sort of develop through the string part So if you hear from the very top of this to the very end of the intro, it's it's a big V, no pun intended, um, to that's sort of separating away from itself. So at the top, it starts in the middle and it just keeps going lower and higher. And it keeps going. Collecting words and adjectives and um, intentions from artists that have nothing to do musically necessarily with music words or instrumental words, but they are related and you figure out how they're all related thematically. I've re I realized it's because all the creative energy is going into the record that 
I don't want to think about a sandwich that I'm going to get. I want to get this one. Like it's just all the creative juice is gone. So I just end up eating whatever will <laughs> work. You know, no more playing defense is really important to me in terms of um, being a producer, in terms of the choices that you make. Like if you're going to make a choice, you you're like fucking make that choice and don't hedge your bet. And it's not about just being loud or brash all the time, but it's just making a gesture be its full self.